Praise the Lord. This is Psalm for the Day, coming to you from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Central Parish. Our Psalm for the Day is Psalm 140, verse 1 to 13. Psalm 140, from verse 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Others' poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who are purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me and courts. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set chains for me. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into the deep pits that they rise up not again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the heart. Evil shall haunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the aff afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. We give glory to God for the message that we have had on this particular passage, on this song that we have taken over and over again since the beginning of the week. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. That was um, uh, the core of this prayer, the core of the prayer that the psalmist is making to the Lord in this, uh, in this song. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man. This is a prayer from a life threatened by the wicked and the violent person. Just like we are living in a country today where our lives are threatened by wickedness and by violence. It's a prayer for protection. It's a prayer for preservation. It's also a prayer to frustrate the enemy's purpose that we might fulfill divine purpose for our lives. And so we decree in the name that's above every other name, every purpose of the adversary concerning our lives as individuals, as families, as a church, and as a country, every purpose of the adversary for our lives shall be destroyed so that divine purpose can be fulfilled. And I want to assure you Whoever you are who is monitoring this particular broadcast at this time, God's purpose for your life is the only thing that will be established. Whoever had purpose in this house to overthrow your going, to overthrow your, overthrow your life, to overthrow divine purpose for your life, shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. This prayer for protection was being given at this point in time because this individual knows that it is only God who can protect. Not only is it that God can protect, God also has shown to us clearly from his word that he can preserve his own. In the midst of problems, in the midst of, 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 of conflicts, he can preserve his own. And the almighty God will preserve you. What was the prayer that this individual is praying at this time? We will find that prayer from verse 8. In verse 8 he says, Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. That is the first prayer. This all-important prayer, and I believe it is important for those for someone who is listening at this point in time, is saying, Oh Lord, don't grant the desires of the wicked. Even if the wicked is praying, oh God of heaven, don't let his prayers be answered. Even if he's consulting some evil forces, Lord of heaven, don't allow the evil forces to answer him. All of us know very well what happened to the to the to, to the to the priest, to the priest of Baal, when they were calling upon their, uh, of the, their idol in the day when Elijah was involved. I have um, always thought of it. If Baal had not been answering them through his demons before that time, 
I mean, they wouldn't be so confident when Elijah threw that challenge to them. But on that particular day, because Elijah was involved and Elijah was a representative of the living God, they could not answer. The demons went on holiday. Every demon that has been raised against you will go on holidays from now on in the name of the Lord Jesus. He said, grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. And we are decreeing at this point in time all the desires of the wicked concerning your life. None of it shall be granted. None of it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. He said, further not his wicked device, lest they exhort themselves. There are a lot of wicked devices that they have put up, that they are, they are already, they, they pride themselves in. But God is saying today, as the Lord liveth, they will not be able to continue to do what they've been doing before. All their wicked devices shall come to an end. All their pride will be punctured in the name of Jesus. In any way, they have been, va they, 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 they have been vaunting themselves before this time. In any way, they have been manifesting their pride and they've been showing their impunity. As the Lord live it, from this moment on, all their impunity shall come to an end in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says, as for the head of those that come past me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. We are decreeing on, upon, on, by the name of the Lord today, all the people who come past all around, whoever they may be, as powerful as they may be, whatever may be the truth that is supporting them, the almighty God will make them to, to make mistakes from this moment on. They shall be covered by this mischief of their own lips as the Lord leave it. We decree in the name of the Lord Jesus that all that they depend upon shall begin to fail them in the name that surpasses every other name, even the name of the Lord Jesus. We decree today that from now on, they will only make mistakes. The spirit of error will begin to reign and rule in their life. The spirit of error will gain ascendancy upon their lives. Their ways will become dark. Beginning from now, the almighty God himself will arise and he will fight the battle of his own people. This particular land space called Nigeria shall begin to experience peace. Everyone who had risen up against Nigeria shall fall for our sake. In the name of the Lord Jesus, those who are ahead and those who are toast, those who are ahead and those who are following them, by, by the name of the Almighty God, they will run into mischief. The power of the living God will overthrow them in the name of the Lord Jesus. God will fight our battle. He will give us victory as the Lord live it. Brethren, I want to assure you, God is still the one in charge. Just as this prayer was prayed at a time and God answered, as we are praying it again, the Almighty God will answer. He has said in His Word, He will not grant the desires of the wicked, and their desire will not come to pass concerning any of us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Good news for you. I want you to go to bed in peace because you know the Almighty God is watching over your interests. His restraining hand upon this country will not allow this country to go into flames. By the power of the living God, every state of Nigeria will still experience peace because the, all, the mouth of the living God has spoken it. God will solve the problem of Nigeria in a way that nobody can imagine because he is the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We appreciate you and we honor your name today. There is none we can compare with you. Thank you for what you have done in time past. Thank you for what you will continue to do. Father Lord, may your name be exalted forever, O God. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your name. Answer the prayers of your people. Father Almighty, let all the adversaries go into error and let the spirit of error gain ascendancy upon their lives. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <laughs>